All right, welcome to another video for biology. In this video, we're going to be discussing the cell cycle. All right, so here are the objectives that we need to know um, as we consider this video. Uh, first of all, what is a cell? Okay, what is the cell cycle? And then the breakdown of the cell cycle itself. So to begin with that first question, what is a cell? You might remember that this that a cell is the building block of an organism. A human being has trillions of cells per human. And each of these cells, um, you'll, you'll notice that he, the human being is not just one gigantic cell, but it is made out of many cells. And these cells constantly die off and regenerate themselves as needed. Okay? And they do this via a process called the cell cycle, which we have shown here as a kind of a pie chart of, of sorts. So there's different cycles, there's different um, aspects to this cycle. And the first one that we're going to look at is mitosis. Okay, that's one of the obvious ones. I actually have a couple of videos dedicated to just this particular cycle, or this phase itself. This is the M phase, uh, mitosis. And the larger, greener one is the interphase stage. This takes the longest. All right, so let's take a, let's highlight this uh, this large green uh, cycle first. This is broken down into three different uh, phases. Okay. Our first phase is the G1 growth one phase. Then we have our synthesis phase, which uh, where DNA is replicated, and we have a video dedicated to that. Then we have our G2 phase, our growth two phase. Okay, and then we've already discussed the uh, yellow M phase. So let's take a look at what the G1 phase uh, is. This phase, oh, let me back up a little bit. Remember, this, this cell cycle phase is referring to the cycle that a cell goes through um, to copy itself. Okay, it's copying itself really because some cells have either died off and you need to replenish them, or because you have damaged cells in the wound or what have you that need to regenerate themselves for uh, cell repair, okay? So just kind of like a baby has different phases, like you have a, uh, an infant, a toddler, and then a, you know, a, a child, and then a teenager, and then you know, a young adult, and then a grown up, and, and what have you, you know, middle age, old age, whatever the case may be, there's different phases to life. Well, it's the same thing with a cell. A cell has different phases in its, um, in its, uh, in its lifespan. So the first one is the G1 growth phase, which takes about 10 hours. This phase copies all the different organelles that, um, that a cell has. Remember, a, a cell needs to multiply. It needs to copy itself. And when it does that, it needs to copy every aspect of itself in the new copy. It's kind of like when you have a book. Um, if, you have a, if your class is reading a book, you need to make sure that the book has, each copy of the book has the same information. Otherwise, you know, you're going to get some inconsistencies in the, in the understanding of that story. So in growth one phase, uh, everything is copied in terms of the organelles except chromosomes. So the DNA is not copied yet. Next we have the S phase, or the synthesis phase. This phase takes about nine hours, and this is where DNA replication takes place. How that process occurs, uh, make sure and watch the video for DNA replication. Okay? So we have the same amount of genetic information or the same genetic information is just duplicated, okay? Again, it's like copying, it's like getting a, another copy of a book. Each book has the same information, it just has double the amount of information or triple them, depending on how many books you have. In this case, we only make another copy, a second copy. Then we have our growth two phase. This phase takes about four hours, okay? This is the final preparation for mitosis, okay? And again, mitosis is the M phase, can be broken down into for different mini phases, PMAT, okay? And again, we highlight each of these stages and what happens in each stage in a separate video, but let's just discuss what these uh, stages are called. So your P stands for your prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, and that's PMAT. All right, so let's break it down in reverse now. So again, PMAT is referring to mitosis, the M phase of the cell cycle, and this is the last phase of the cell cycle, okay? M phase is part of a larger overall cell cycle phase. It includes your G1, S, and G2 phase, or interphase. And before we continue on, let's back it up just a little bit, because I want to talk about another aspect of this uh, process. This process has uh, various checkpoints, 
I have two sh shown here, and there's a couple more, and there's some enzymes that play a role in this process as well. But we're just going to keep it um, at a more simpler stage here. So these checkpoints, for example, at G1 checkpoint, at this point, uh, the cell is going to check if there's sufficient nutrients, if the cell size is adequate, okay, and that there's no damaged DNA. Remember, it's just just like if you're making a copy of, of one book to another, you want to make sure that it's that it's enough, okay? That you have enough pages, and that all the all the letters and paragraphs are in the same position as the original, okay? And if something is wrong there, then the cell does not continue to go through this process, okay? But if it, everything does check out and everything is fine, then it'll it'll go ahead and keep going. It'll get the green light, and of course the DNA replication. DNA replication also has its own checkpoints and then you get to the G2 checkpoint and again you're checking for chromosome replication is it complete is there any damaged DNA if there is then we stop the process and we fix those mistakes but if everything checks out then we continue on to the mitosis phase okay and mitosis in and of itself that phase itself has also its own checkpoints there's also a G, uh, G0 phase in this G0, uh, G0 phase we call this cell arrest Okay, cell cycle arrest. This is not because there's a mistake or anything like that. This is just because perhaps maybe the cell just isn't ready to continue on or maybe it's just not necessary. So the cell will go into a G0 phase until, until the cell cycle uh, needs to continue for uh, whatever metabolic reason. So this is just an overview of the cell cycle. Um, please watch the uh, other videos and the uh, DNA replication for further understanding into uh, each cycle and what it does. Okay, good luck in your study.